Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on how you can go ahead and make this oval rug. And I'm going to be giving you the pattern to going extra large with the oval. I did a previous tutorial. If you're an extreme beginner, I'm going to link that in the cards above as well as in the description below where I go really slow and really detailed on how you can go about making your oval. Um, this particular tutorial I made because people were asking me to for the pattern to make the oval much larger. So I've gone ahead and done 14 rounds here of that oval base so that you'll have that free pattern at hand. Now if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you. And please remember to subscribe to my channel as well. So for this project, you'll need your yarn as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I will leave links in the description box below on where you can also find these items. Now you can start this project with your chain stitches. I've already gone ahead and done 25 chain stitches and I'm just going to go ahead and add four. You can go ahead and do this with any amount of chain stitches to start plus four. So now that I've added 4 chain stitches, I have 29 chain stitches in total. Now in the third stitch from our hook, we're going to go ahead and make a double crochet. To make a double crochet, wrap the yarn over your hook and insert it into that third stitch. Now hook it to the working yarn and pull up a loop. Hook it again to the working yarn and pull it through the first two loops. Gonna yarn over a hook and pull it through the last two loops. So this is a double crochet. It's our first. And now we're going to go ahead and make two more double crochets in this same stitch. Now we're going to go ahead and do one double crochet in each stitch going all the way down except for the last stitch here. So in total, we're going to be doing 25 double crochets going all the way down. So I'll just do a few to start. So one double crochet in that stitch. One double crochet in that stitch. And we're going to continue that until we're at the last stitch right here. And I'll see you when we're at the last stitch. Gone ahead and completed 25 double crochets. And in the last stitch right here, I'm going to be doing six double crochets inside this stitch so this is our first one two three Four, five, six, 
6. And we're just going to go ahead and do one double crochet in each stitch going up until we're at the last stitch here where we already have three double crochets. Um, so we should be doing 25 double crochets going all the way up. I'll start with a few on this side so that you'll see how it's done. And just go ahead and ensure that the tail of your yarn is at the top so that you can yarn over it. So go ahead and continue your double crochets while yarning over the tail until you're at the end here. And remember, you should have 25 in total. So now that you've completed the double crochets going all the way up, in the last stitch, we're going to go ahead and do three double crochets. Now remember, we did three double crochets already on this side. So in total, we'll have six double crochets in this stitch. Now we have six double crochets in total, so it's one, two, three. This is our first four, five, six. Now you can position, these are the two stitches that we would have skipped in the first round. You can just go ahead and position that to the back. And to the top of this stitch here, we're just going to go ahead and do a slip stitch to close. Now to start the next round, go ahead and do two chain stitches. And in the first stitch here, instead of doing one double crochet, we're going to do two. Now, going forward, you can go ahead and place a marker on these stitches here. So you'll know where the row starts. So we're going to be doing two double crochets in this stitch. Now we're just going to go ahead and repeat that in this stitch as well as in this stitch. So we're going to do two double crochets here and two double crochets here as well. So you see we have two double crochets and we've done that three times. So one, two, three. Now going down, we're going to do one double crochet in each stitch. And this should be 25 double crochets like we did in the previous round until we're here at the end. 
So if you'd like to keep count, go ahead and count out whatever amount of chain stitches you did to start. So I'll just do the first few. So I'll see you after completing my 25 double crochets going down. Now we've completed the 25 double crochets going all the way down and now we're going to be doing two double crochets in each of the next six stitches and these are the six stitches that we did in the last stitch from the last round. So this is one and in that same stitch we're going to go ahead and do a double crochet and we're just going to continue that going all around so two in this stitch one two one two one two one two so we've done two double crochets in each of the six stitches on this end and you can see them here this stitch where we have our two double crochets here that's one set the second set the third set the fourth set the fifth set and the sixth set and what we'll be doing is we're going to be doing our 25 double crochets going all the way down here. So outside of the, the ends in the middle here, we'll always be doing 25 double crochets or whatever amount of stitches that you did to start. So I'm going to go ahead and complete that and I'll see you when we're down here. Now that we've completed the 25 double crochets going all the way down, in the last three stitches here, we're going to be doing two double crochets in each stitch. In that same stitch. So we have two in total. And in the last stitch, one, two. Now you can just go ahead and remove your marker. Now remember that where the marker was on was where we did those two chain stitches. You can just go ahead and place that to the back and it's to the top of the next stitch where we'll be doing the slip stitch to close. And that's how it looks. Now in the next round, go ahead and start with the two chain stitches. And we're going to place a marker on that like we did in the previous round. And in the stitch right here, we're going to be doing two double crochets.
One, two. Now in the stitch beside that, we'll only be doing one double crochet. One, and then in the stitch beside that, we're going to be doing two double crochets. One, two. And in the stitch beside that, we're going to be doing one double crochet. So this is pretty much the pattern for this round. You see, you'll do two double crochet and then one. So that's one set two double crochet and then one that's the second set and then we're going to be doing two double crochet and then one we have one two double crochets in this stitch and in the final stitch here we're going to be doing one double crochet now, if you're a beginner and you do need to keep that 25 stitch count in the middle portion here, then what I will caution that you do is to place a crochet marker on this stitch so that you won't get confused. Now go ahead and do one double crochet in each of the next 25 stitches. And I'll see you when we're down here. After completing your 25 stitches, on this end, we're going to go ahead and repeat the stitch pattern that we did to start the round. So we're going to start with two double crochets in the first stitch. And in the stitch beside that, we're going to be doing one double crochet. Two double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, and then one double crochet. So we've gone ahead and done two sets. So we have two, one here, two, one, and we're just going to go ahead and complete four more sets of the same pattern. So after you've completed the stitch pattern, you should have six in total of the stitch pattern on this end. So you'll see where we started with our two double crochets here. So we have one set, two and one, two sets, two and one, three sets, two and one, four sets, two and one, five sets, and two here, one double crochet here. That's the sixth set. And you can also already see where that oval pattern is coming right along. Now go ahead and complete the round by doing your 25 double crochets. And on this end, you can also go ahead and add a marker if you need to keep that count. Do your 25 stitches in the middle so that you can stay on track. And after doing that, then we're just going to go ahead and complete the pattern on this side as well. But I'll see you when we're up here. Just go ahead and start doing your single double crochets in each of the next 25 stitches. After completing the 25 double crochets going down, we're going to go ahead and complete the pattern on this end using the same stitch pattern that we did on this side as well as at the bottom there. So in the first stitch, we're going to be doing two double crochets. 
and in the stitch beside that we're going to be doing one double double crochet so that's one set and we have two more sets to complete And beside that, we're going to do one, and then two double crochets, and then one in the final stitch. Now we're going to go ahead and remove our marker place this stitch here to the back and then do a slip stitch to close then you can go ahead and chain two like we've done in previous rounds and place the marker there on that second stitch so you can know where the round starts. Now in the first stitch, we're gonna go ahead and do one double crochet. And in the stitch beside that, we're going to do one double crochet. And in the stitch beside that, we're going to do two double crochets. In the same stitch. And that's going to be the pattern for this round. So you'll do one double crochet, one double crochet, and then two double crochet. And that would be one set. So we're going to go ahead and do that two more times. So one double crochet. One double crochet. Two double crochets. So that's the second set. So now we have three sets in total, and I typically know where I do two double crochets, but if you need to put a marker there, just so that you can stay on track, then go ahead and do that. Now we're going to go ahead and do our typical 25 double crochets down, so one double crochet in each of the next 25 stitches, and I'll see you when we're up here. Now after completing the 25 double crochets, we're just going to go ahead and continue the pattern down here at the bottom as well. So whatever it is that we do at the top, we do that after doing the 25 double crochets, we do that same stitch pattern for the bottom here, then we do 25 double crochets, and then we repeat the stitch pattern three more times up here. So that's how we're going to do this round on round. So we're going to start by doing one double crochet. One 
de becuchés. And then two double crochets in the same stitch. In the same stitch we do two so that's our second set so one one two in this stitch And then two double crochets in the final stitch. So you can see where our oval is getting much larger. So go ahead and do a double crochet in each of the next 25 stitches and then right here where the 25 stitch would end we're going to go ahead and do the same stitch pattern that we've been doing from the beginning. So go ahead and close out the round like we've done previously and I'll see you uh, again for the new round where I'll show you the stitch pattern for that round. So I've gone ahead and completed the stitch pattern on this side. And then I closed out the round as I've done in previous rounds and chained two, which is how we're going to start each and every round going forward. Uh, and I've placed but my stitch marker on the second chain here so that we'll know where the pattern starts and where it ends. Now what I've also gone ahead and done was to place markers where the stitch pattern starts and where it begins. So we'll know that we have six of the same stitch patterns here and down here it's the same where we'll have six of the same stitch patterns here and in between this stitch and this stitch we'll have 25 and in between this stitch and this stitch we'll have 25. So you can go ahead and also keep count but using your markers also helps especially as the oval gets larger and larger now in the previous round the stitch pattern was one double crochet one double crochet and then two double crochets in one stitch one double crochet one double crochet and then two double crochets in one stitch now in this round, uh, we're going to be adding a stitch. So we'll do one double crochet, one double crochet, one double crochet, and then two double crochets. However, for the fifth round, we're actually going to be starting with our double crochets. So we started with the single double crochet in the, in the round previous, but for the first stitch, we're going to be doing two double crochets in that stitch. So, one, two, and 
and then in the next three stitches we're going to be doing one double crochet so one one And that's pretty much the pattern for this round where we'll do two double crochets in one stitch and then one 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 so let's repeat that two more times so two double crochets in this stitch and then one double crochet here one one two double crochets in this stitch And then one double crochet here, one here, and the last double crochet here. And then you can just go ahead and take your marker from the previous round and place it right here so you'll know where the stitch patterns end. And then we're just going to go ahead and do 25 double crochets, so one double crochet in each of the next 25 stitches. And I'll see you when we're down here. So I've gone ahead and completed my 25 double crochets right here in the middle. And up top, you'll see where I have a marker here. We're going to do our first stitch right here to start the stitch pattern on this end. And we'll be starting with two double crochets in this stitch as we did up top. So one, and in that same stitch, two, and then you can just go ahead and take the marker from the previous round and add it here so that you'll know where the the round starts for the next round so we've gone ahead and done two double crochets in this stitch and then we're going to do one double crochet here one double crochet here and one double crochet here. So that's one set, and we're gonna go ahead and do that five more times. So two double crochets in this stitch. And then one. One, one. So you'll see it two double crochets, then one, 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 two double crochets, then one, one, one. Now go ahead and repeat that four more times, and I'll see you when we're here. So I've gone ahead and completed the stitch pattern, as you see. We'll have two double crochets in this stitch, then one, 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 two, one, 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 two, one, 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 and that's three sets. Two, one, 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 that's our fourth set. Two, one, 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 that's our fifth set. And then two, 
one, one, one for our sixth set. So on this end, we'll do the pattern six times like we did in the previous rounds. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and remove your marker and place it on the last stitch so that um, you'll know the count for the next round. And then go ahead and complete your 25 double crochets in each stitch going down. Um, and I'll see you when we're up here. Now, after you've completed your 25 double crochets, then we're going to go ahead and complete the stitch pattern on this end as well. So, right here, we're going to start with two double crochets in the same stitch. And then one, two, three, and then in the next stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. One, two, and then one. One here and one here and then for the last set we're gonna do two double crochets in this stitch one two and then one double crochet in each of the next stitches remaining so it's one one and for the final stitch, we're going to go ahead and do one as well. And you can see how our oval is getting so much larger after completing five rounds. So let's go ahead and close it out. And just as a reminder, remember, place this stitch behind this stitch here, which would have been our first stitch of the round. And then we're just going to go ahead and do a slip stitch to close so this is how it looks after completing five rounds it's a very large oval and I do intend on making this into a much larger rug if you'd like to see the stitch pattern for that then go ahead and click the cards above I'll also link part two of this video in the description box below remember to subscribe to this channel Please let me know if you have any questions and give this video a thumbs up. Bye guys.